if we're going to keep track of levels and points, then it sort of also makes sense to keep track of the speed and to actually change the speed as we go along. So we'll make a variable called speed. And we don't really need this variable to show up on the screen, so we'll just uncheck that box. But we want to set the speed so that both the frog and the cars can sort of increase in speed as the levels go along. So at the very beginning of the game, we need to set the speed to something that's manageable. And so far, we've been setting the speed to 3. And I think that's a fairly manageable speed. It gives some indication of movement, but it's not completely overwhelming. And so where do we put that speed? So think about how in here we're creating movement. Um, and you can see my values are quite wrong because they should be 3 and negative 3. So really what we should be doing is putting speed into all of these, except you'll realize very quickly that some of these were supposed to be negative and some of them were supposed to be positive, and that's just, they're, they're all of them right now into this, we'll call it a bucket, but it's called a variable. All of them now have the number three, and so that really doesn't make sense. It's great for up and it's great for right because both of them were supposed to be positive, but how do we get a negative value into there. So I'm just going to pop this out and put it off to the side so that we can remember which ones need negatives. And I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned along the way. In order to create positive 3 into negative 3, well, it, if you think about it on the number line, one is on one side of the 0, and the other one is on the other side of the 0. So really, if we, if we take 0 and subtract speed from it, so 0 subtract speed, so 0 minus 3 should give us negative 3. For those of you who are paying attention in math class, I hope that makes some sense. For those of you that weren't paying attention in math class, then this is going to be a fun experiment to see if this actually works. So if speed is 3, then up is good. And then 0 minus speed, so 0 minus 3 should be down. So let's make this a little bit bigger and give this program a test. Does my, look at that, my frog still goes in all four directions at a reasonable rate of speed, which is three. So we'll just stop that and I'll make this big again. Now that we've created a speed and negative speed for our up, down, left and right arrows, we should also attach speed to a car. So now I'm going to choose the fast lane car right now. So I'm going to choose this car that's in the fast lane, and I'm going to choose the one that's on this side of the double yellow line. So it's going in this direction. So it should be traveling in a positive direction. And I want to change this change x by 3 to now say change x by speed. Okay, so now this car should continue because speed is 3. So when I make the game big again, that car continues. This car continues in exactly the same manner that it was going before. So now let's look at the other car in the fast lane, the red one. And in our red car, we are changing by negative 3. So hopefully by now you've figured out that that one actually works. So is to, to get a negative 3, we're going to say 0. So I'll just click in there and type in the 0. Subtract speed. And let's make that big again and test it. And you can see the red car is now working perfectly exactly the same as it was before. So really nothing has changed yet because we haven't decided when to change the speed. Okay, now how do you think we would change the speed for the blue car and the yellow car? So I'm going to stop now and I'm going to leave you three things for homework. The first one is how to change the speed for the, yellow, the blue car. That's one question. The second is how to change the speed for the yellow car because that's a completely different question. Okay, remember this speed should be 2 and this speed should be negative 2. And then the final question is, when do you think we should change the speed? So that's your homework for until the next video.